Hello everyone, you're watching the Zach Goodenkoff YouTube channel. Welcome back everyone to Parker Burn International Off-Road Raceway. I'm Brent Smith alongside Shane Stetsny. And Super Stock Truck is coming up next. A lot of local favorites in this one. Row number one, it's Nick Visser alongside yesterday's winner, Ben Holger. In row number two. up our weekend here at Bark River, Michigan, the Rumble and the UP. Uh, it was the 45th running of the race and uh, could be more happy to have come out this weekend. It was a lot of fun, great facility, great track, put on by the Bark River Lions Club, did a heck of a job. But uh, Saturday practice went great, uh, really felt comfortable in trucks, started to feel fast, picked up on the lines and 
we had the new pit bike, we were able to pre-run the race essentially um, after the driver's meeting each morning. So that made a huge uh, difference, being able to run the lines on the pit bike and then go out and do it on the track with the truck. So that was great. And then uh, Saturday's race, we ended up finishing ninth, uh, working our way up from starting 18th out of 19th. And so through all the carnage and, and the battle in that race, came out ninth. So really happy to get our, our first top 10 in the Superstock class since it's very competitive and tough class to be in. And back from uh, the Sunday race here, the last round in Bark River at the Rumble in UP. And we started 19th out of 20 since it's based off of points and, and uh, we missed the first couple races and then the uh, Lena race. So we're down on points so that puts us back in the back. We'll have to try to work our way forward again and um, got through the first lap clean, made it to the competition caution. There was some rollovers and they uh, ended up getting those guys pulled off and they said, well, our, that's going to go ahead and be our competition caution since all the trucks were back together. So we got lined up in the Delaware restart. We were lined up next to each other. Got going. I think we made it maybe two laps. And at that point, I could feel I was losing power in the truck and just didn't have the power I had yesterday and uh, it I noticed it a little bit when I was going over the flyway jump since you're pulling a big hill um, before you, yeah, that is the jump and I would lose power at 4,000 rpm for just a split second and uh, I thought well it must be electrical because it was from like 4 to 2 and uh, or 40 4,000 to 4,200 rpm and I had actually found a spark plug wire that I pushed on and it was uh, it had pulled out a little bit so I thought okay it's fixed and get out there after the competition caution today and I couldn't keep the truck running so I actually had gone over the uh, blind corner by the grandstands the truck shut off on me because uh, I couldn't pull that pull that hill and I got it refired because that was a pretty dangerous spot to be in a blind, uh, the top of a blind corner and uh, so got it I was trying to make my way around the track and was just trying to get to the finish and I think there might have been one or two laps left of the race at that point and then there was a rollover I couldn't see what happened on the other end of the track and they like red flagged us so everyone comes to uh, comes to a stop and and then they said they were going to do a, a green white checkered and I knew the truck couldn't do a pace lap plus two more race pace laps so I went ahead and pulled off that way I wasn't going to be run over by the pack of wolves if I was stuck on that uh, blind corner by the grandstands again. So overall fun weekend. I uh, got a little banged up in the front right corner, but that's racing. And uh, we'll be looking forward to Crandon. So make sure you like and subscribe.